Hello. Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer on Wednesday the 22nd of June 2022. Now I have a nine week old puppy running around. He's a new member of the family. So I apologise in advance if he decides to join in. Tonight we remember Alban, first martyr of Britain, who died in around 250. Tonight we're reading a portion of Psalm 119 and continuing to read Paul's letter to the Romans. Let's now worship together. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. It's Psalm 119, beginning at the 33rd verse. Teach me, O Lord, the ways of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. I shall keep it with my whole heart. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for therein is my delight. Incline my heart to your testimonies, and not to unjust gain. Turn away my eyes, lest they gaze on vanities, or give me life in your ways. Confirm to your servant your promise, which stands for all who fear you. Turn away the reproach which I dread, because your judgments are good. Behold, I long for your commandments, and your righteousness give me life. Let your faithful love come unto me, O Lord, even your salvation according to your promise. Then shall I answer those who taunt me, for my trust is in your word. O oh, take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for my hope is in your judgments. So shall I always keep your law. I shall keep it for ever and ever. I will walk at liberty because I study your commandments. I will tell of your testimonies even before kings and will not be ashamed. My delight shall be in your commandments, which I have greatly loved. My hands will lift up to your commandments, which I love, and I will meditate on your statutes. Remember your word to your servant on which you have built my hope. This is my comfort in my trouble, that your promise gives me life. The proud have derided me cruelly, but I have not turned aside from your law. I have remembered your everlasting judgments, O Lord, and have been comforted. I am seized with indignation at the wicked, for they have forsaken your law. Your statutes have been like songs to me in the house of my pilgrimage. I have thought on your name in the night, O Lord, and so have I kept your law. These blessings have been mine, for I have kept your commandments. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The reading is Romans chapter 8, beginning at the first verse. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and of death. For God has done what the law, weakened by the flesh, could not do, by sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and to deal with sin, he condemns sin in the flesh, so that the ju just requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. To set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For this reason, the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot, and those who are in the flesh cannot please God. 
that you are not in the flesh, you are in the Spirit, since the Spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is life because of righteousness. If the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your immortal bodies also through his Spirit that dwells in you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you, you hold me by my right hand, and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. Those who gave up their lives for Christ and followed in the way. Rejoice with God now and forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lonely servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down them the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich way empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Those who gave up their lives for Christ and followed in the way rejoice with God now and forever. And so we come to a time of prayer. Let us pray. Father, we pray for those without food, for people who are hungry or starving, and for those who desperately need aid. Lord God, we lay before you all heated arguments, blinkered vision, and the stubborn behaviour of our world. We pray for those who are not at peace, for people and nations at war, and for those who need reconciliation to one another. We pray that your teaching about loving our enemies will be made famous across the world, changing hearts and minds away from violence and despair. We pray too for leaders of the nations, and all in authority, that they may use their skills and the power entrusted to them responsibly and for the good of all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of the universe, we thank you for your many good gifts, for the beauty of creation and its rich and varied fruits, for clean water and fresh air, for food and shelter, our animals and plants. Forgive us for the time that we have taken the earth's resources for granted and wasted what you have given us. Help us to preserve your gifts, transform our hearts and minds so that we would learn to care and share, to touch the earth with gentleness and love and respecting all living things. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we bring before you the areas of our own lives which are in shadow and darkness. May your light brighten our hearts to show us our faults and enable us to admit them. We pray for all of us watching here, for all our families and our friends. Inspire us to work at our relationships and remind us to welcome you into every situation we meet. Dear Lord, perhaps your greatest gift is that of forgiveness. We had to come up to scratch, up to a certain high or even low standard in order to please you, then we would be doomed to failure. Instead, you have forgiven us. Clear our hearts of the resentments we cling to 
and make us channels of your forgiveness to our friends and to our enemies. We thank you, Lord, for providing us with the time and space to live and breathe both physically and spiritually. We thank you for your patience and grace to all those who feel a spiritual crisis in their lives. Most of all, we thank you for being beside us at all times, whether we recognize it or not. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we ask you to be with those who suffer, whether the pain be mental or physical. We pray particularly for those for whom this day will be their last. May they know your love and in doing so receive courage and strength in their time, in their time of need. We pray for all those who have been made to feel insignificant or of no value in our world, or those who feel that there is no place for them at the table, knowing that those who are down need fear no fall, we ask you to raise them up through your grace to all that they can be and to let them feel the reality of your everlasting arms underneath. We pray for the elderly, especially those who are unable to leave their homes. We ask that they feel your presence and guiding hand in their lives and find comfort from it. We also take time to think of any we know to be in need of your comforting presence and in particular, we pray for Irene. As we have named folk in our hearts, so let them feel your presence and friendship in their lives as we commit them to your loving care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, when the Gospel of Christ first came to our land, you gloriously confirmed the faith of Alban by making him the first to win a martyr's crown. Grant that, following his example, in the fellowship of the saints, we may worship you, the living God, and give true witness to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I thank you for joining me tonight and look forward to being with you again on Friday. Richard will be here tomorrow. Good night and God bless you.